and welcome back. Today we're going to take apart one of these big rear projection TVs. This is an old one. I'll show you the back in a moment, but this is from RCA. And it is quite big. I don't know the exact size on it, but it's got a really good size on it. I'll show you here on the back. This one is from May 2000. And uh, that's about all I can tell of anything on this tag. It's just really old, really old technology. Um, you've probably seen one of these taken apart before, but I'll try to go into even more detail. Basically just a big, mostly empty cabinet. Some color guns down there shining on a mirror. To the back of big Fresnel lens screen. There should be three screens there. Plexiglass, vertical lines in Fresnel. And uh, that's about it. And boy aren't we glad they don't have to do it this way anymore. So, uh, the majority of this will just be thrown away. I'll keep a few parts of it. But um, I am going to start by taking off the speaker grill because I think that's where the screws are for the lens frame and then we'll get that off there. Yep, that was the trick. And this was nice that it, these cables are long enough so that you can lay it completely down and still have it not pull. And uh, as I was saying, there are the retaining screws for holding the frame onto the screen. And that should come off easy. I actually learned that from, oh, who is he? King of Random. Uh, pulled one of these apart and then uh, these are just your controls the back of the controls for on and off and channel and volume and all those things and then we have a port under there hmm. what's in the port ah. oh okay Wow, even USB back in 2000. Your regular uh, left and right audio and video lines and headphones. So that has got to be a USB 1. Interesting. But the more interesting stuff will certainly be inside of there. So let's get that screen off and take a peek. Okay and so there you go the screen came right off. You take those bottom screws off, the bottom screws that were right there, and then the whole thing just lifts up and out and I've set it on the side over there. And this is what you see inside. You've got a big mirror. It is a mirror you're looking at. It's not it's a mirror image of what you see here. You get your three color guns. It looks pretty neat. And um, that's all you see here. You've got something right there. We'll find out in a minute what that is. And we had one wire sticking out that was attached to the frame. And I really don't know what was going on here. It was a there were a bunch of these. They may be LEDs. There's a look at one right there. And they're in these spots all the way around the uh, screen. My guess is that it was some kind of a backlight to make the image more vivid. It's possible. Okay, so that wraps it up for the screen, but I'm gonna take a look at something right here. I just noticed, if you look right up at the edge there, the screen looks like super thick, but I know it's not. I mean, not the screen, but the mirror. It looks like it might be a big plastic piece, and this might be an artificial mirror. You know, one of those finishes? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that mirror off and see what that's made out of, because that's supposed to be glass. Let's see. Okay, so now I've removed that mirror, and it really was plastic. Look at this. 
this is not a glass mirror. It's a big piece of plastic and it's covered in a film that they've wrapped around here. Isn't that something? You know, nowadays they've got a spray that they can use for a mirror or chrome. But I guess in 2000 or 2001, they had to use this wrap. Look at that. Boy, I really wasn't expecting that. I think, I think I'll keep this. I don't know why, but uh, that is unique. Light as a feather. Look at that. Like a mylar balloon. Actually, it's probably mylar. Anyway, moving on, I guess I will take the speakers out now and take this front panel off and see what's behind there. Oops, sorry about that. It explains it right there. This is the finish, the mirror. You can read it, mirror light. Audio video projection grade glassless mirrors by mirror light products. Still don't know exactly what material it's made out of, but that may explain a little more if anybody knows anything about that. Anyway, moving on. Okay, I've got all that open now, and wow, well, I know, look at that. But I'll get to that in just a moment. But the uh, speakers are just your standard full range speakers with tweeters. Um, and I will save those because they probably sound at least okay. I'll save them for who knows why, but look under here. Wow. One moment here. Look at this. I, you know, I was not expecting the color guns to go back this far, but they are a good foot, foot and a half deep. Wow. So this is the good stuff. Now I'm supposing that the uh, when you take this plate off, all of that is supposed to lift out as one big piece, and I hope that's going to go well. That is definitely in the next step, so let's see if that goes smooth. Actually, it would probably be a good idea to take this whole back panel off, because I'm sure that contraption is going to be connected to the power supply and these other other uh, connections uh, so I gotta undo all that before that lifts out I'm sure so let's take this big back panel off okay yes there is quite a bit more boy you know I'm used to the newer stuff where everything is all nice and small and compact to, to see everything done the gigantic way here I mean look at these what is it I don't know. I will eventually get that board completely out, along with this gigantic board down there. But at least here I can see all the connections, get them off of those uh, that big color gun module, so that hopefully the whole thing will lift out and we can start taking a look at that. Wow, this is really getting neat. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so if you remember, when I first opened this up, I was looking at this right here and wondering what that is. Well, I'm still wondering what that is, but I can show you the other side of it now. What we have there, if you look up through here, you can see it right there. It is sticking up in the inside of the cabinet. It's got a little optic on it. So it's sensing, it is sensing something, probably having to do with light. Unfortunately, here we go again with me not being an electronic engineer, so I can't explain. But it sure looks neat. So it's plugged in right there, and it works its way down. to this box right here, this little shielded area on a 
very big circuit board. And so that just explains that. Just wanted to take a moment to point to that. And I guess maybe we'll look at that a little bit more later. But uh, yeah, it looks like I'm going to, you know, I took the, this part off. I was trying to get this part off and it's just not coming. So it looks like the whole thing wants to come out. That's what I'll do next. Get all this stuff out and detach from that even if I have to cut them. And then we'll pull that out. Okay, so while I'm in the middle of this, I just wanted to show what's going on. And I'm just kind of blindly unplugging things to try to get this thing out. Um, and not keeping track. I'm, this video is going to be long enough. Um, keeping track of all this isn't going to do me any good because I don't know what I'm doing. But here are the three main plugins. I just unplugged those. Red, green, and blue color guns and they mix together to make your image and those cables down there were the three that I unplugged and those go to through that little white box there and so on oh okay duh right there right there and right there the three cables to the three guns and what I'm having trouble with right now is it looks like we have three flyback transformers. We got one right there, one right there, and then they put the other one way over there. And um, just trying to figure out how to unplug those so that I can get everything separated. And then I will pull this giant contraption out. And I believe everything will be free and... Wow, there's a lot more to this than I thought there was going to be. But that's where I am right now and hopefully I can get this giant box right here out in the next scene. Okay, so it is out. I finally just cut the wires right here. See there? Knocking myself out, trying to get these things unplugged and they, I'm pulling on them. They're not coming out on either end. So I don't know how those disconnect, but um, I just came to the realization that there was no reason for me to save those. So I just cut the wires so I can get this big box out. And um, this box is, um, this board is still in here. I have no idea what that is. No idea whatsoever. But I'll pull that one out next. I'll just give a good look around this board. Right there is where the power comes in. Right there. So that is your power supply. Curiously, the whole thing only has this little tiny 3 inch cooling fan for as elaborate as it is. A bunch of heat sinks. I mean, a lot of heat sinks. And, uh, yeah, some kind of a flyback transformer network there that we're all plugged into each other. Uh, but, of course, I don't know how that works either. Nope, okay, I'm, I was wrong. There's another cooling fan on the side. Just unbelievably complicated. What do we got on this side? We got a big shielded box there. It'd be interesting to see what's inside of there. And then of course the other circuit board there in the back behind all the inputs and outputs. Just unbelievable. Just 15 years ago it was this complicated. Incredible. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is pull that one out, not as much to that one, and then the uh, color guns. So let's pull that out. Okay, so now I have this board out. Now I can see some things. So we have some enormous heat sinks there, of course, and they are connected to these transistors that are sticking up. Obviously, something that produces a lot of heat. And they are labeled 
look right here on the right horizontal blue vertical blue horizontal red vertical green uh, so on and so on behind there so these are the controllers for the color guns and uh, wow in the old school way of course when you it's a higher voltage like today's TVs are using lower voltage for these type of things but to drive giant color guns like that you would need a lot of power so your other components are also going to be big so you've got all these giant components and uh, this thing over here I don't know what it is but you can get the cover off of it so let's do that and see what's in there okay so underneath that plate we had this now I don't know what it is but that main chip there was made in Malaysia and I think I saw a number there we go for you electronic engineers that are curious I always try to zoom in on the numbers but they kept it in the shielded box they wanted to keep it protected from I don't know heat or stray signals or something magnets I don't know so I imagine there's something similar inside that box there and that box there just um, tight little circuit boards okay so I've got everything off of that big apparatus there I'm just gonna tie up some loose wires and try to pull the whole thing out so then we can see those color guns well this is nice this plate here is not part of it it's a separate piece you can get this up out of the way and then get a hold of that so we're almost there. Let me just get that wire free. Okay, so here's a look at what we have here. This is really pretty neat. There's a good look at those guns in there, and they come out separately, of course, and that's good. There seems to be some screen adjustments here. Here on the schematic, I'm reading... It is saying CRT, so these are tubes. It's saying that the um, screws marked with an asterisk are not to be removed. But if I see them, I'm going to remove them. I'm sure that was for some other reason. Or I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's going to explode. But we are, let's see, down here, you have your, this whole bottom part is kind of wobbly. I think really all being held on only by that tube socket there. So I'm going to try to pull that off, pull off all these, and we'll pull a color gun off and start taking it apart. Okay, let's do that. Okay, here's a look at it up to this point. I have, um, yes, okay, so that was just a tube socket there, like the old, old, old TV's tube socket. And, uh, that pulled right off. I just cut wires. I pulled some, some plugs off and some wires I just cut. Um, but that allowed me to get um, the whole tube out. It is a picture tube, just like a TV. So you had your flyback transformer. Here's the back of the picture tube. And then there is the, um, oh, you can see it kind of looks like the back of a TV because 
basically what you have here in one of these is three TVs. Three TVs, each one doing its own color. And then this lens projects it up onto the mirror and up onto the back of the screen. And you can see it in there. I think the next thing I'm going to do is get that whole front plate off of there. And uh, so far I haven't figured out how to get this apart. I know King of Random got it apart and he actually had a glass lens in there somewhere and I'd sure like to find that. Curious what it says here. It says X-ray critical part do not operate with lens in place. So I believe that means that the X-rays are only a danger if it's on. So I'm going to try to get that apart and I'm going to get this front plate apart and we'll take another look. Okay, so I got it off, but I got a big surprise. I really, really wasn't expecting that. It was full of some kind of liquid. This cavity here was full of this liquid here. Let me... Uh, very watery, not like a gel. And when I smell it, I uh, don't recognize the smell. I don't know what that is. I'm sure it's not just water, but that cavity was full of liquid. And so when I went to pry it off from the um, seam there, which would be right, right there, uh, yeah, just like goop. And uh, did not know. I did not know that was going to happen. But those are full of water or uh, liquid. Some kind of liquid. Very, very curious to know what that is. If anybody down there in the comments knows what kind of liquid that is, let me know. Uh, certainly, well, I probably won't take these other ones apart. Um, hmm. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. What does it say here? It's got the same x-ray warning. Let's see what that says. Of x-ray specified voltage if under design maximum rating. Long range shielding x radiation. I don't know. Uh, the shielding they were talking about may have been this shielding. This looked like a grounding. I was thinking it was for static electricity. But that might be the X shielding, X-ray shielding or something. But anyway, there's your little tiny TV. So you've got three of these doing red, blue, and green. And they're probably all three full with liquid. Makes sense though, I mean the optics of a liquid would be much better than open air or something. I'm going to have to read up on that. That's a curiosity there, why that would be full of liquid. But, oh yeah, and I wasn't able to get this apart. King of Random, I mean there's no screws, there's no... I don't understand. Maybe he just broke the side of it to get those out. But, um... Uh, on a side note, these things are, check this out, they are magnifiers for sure. You can see there, will definitely start a fire. So, be careful with these. Um, if you're going to store them anywhere, make sure you store them in a bag, a dark bag, so that that won't start a fire. Now what about this one? What does this do? liquid here. See that liquid? What on earth is that? But anyway, what kind of optics does that, that one have? Seems to be doing nothing. I don't know what that's trying to do. No, that's not, this one's not going to start a fire. But, certainly satisfied some curiosity. Now, um, I can't imagine any other part of this to take apart. I think that was the end of it. So I guess I'll go back and show the empty shell. 
Okay, that will do it. We've got uh, I've got some components to keep, some to throw away, and a lot of case to cut down and throw away now because it's just a big box now. Now there might be something I can do with that big plastic shell back there. It sure seems like so I'm gonna leave that all in one piece for now. But I'm gonna throw away everything else. I'll keep the speakers. Uh, all this wood is worthless. Probably throw away that frame. I'll keep the mirror because that's just unique. And that'll do it. So that wraps it up. I uh, apologize if it was long. I apologize if it came across as not knowing anything. Reason in being, I don't really know how this thing works. But I, my goal is to just show what's inside and the basic gist of how they work. And that will do it. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for lots and lots more. Have a good one.